Welcome to the case summary for the Wagon Mound case on 4lawnotes.com. This was a case from English law where the defendants owned a freighter that discharged a large quantity of furnace oil into the Sydney Harbor in Australia. The oil floated across the surface and eventually came in contact with the plaintiff's wharf that he owned for shipbuilding. Later, some cotton waste was floating in the harbor and some molten metal fell into the water from the shipbuilding that ignited the cotton waste and then in turn ignited the oil and caused a huge fire that seriously damaged the wharf and two ships. The issue is whether the defendants were liable for damages to the wharf and to two ships where it was not reasonably foreseeable that the oil would ignite and cause that much damage. And it was this case that the English court established this rule of proximate cause that a defendant must be considered to be responsible for the probable consequences of his act and established the test for proximate cause at, as reasonable foreseeability of harm. In the first Wagon Mound case, uh, the court held for the defendant saying that it was not reasonably foreseeable that uh, the oil would cause the fire, that reasonable people would consider furnace oil really difficult to ignite on water, and it was something that very rarely happened and only under very exceptional circumstances that were really remote and not reasonably foreseeable. Then the second Wagon Mountain case was a claim that the owners of the ships that were damaged brought to the court and in that case the court held that there was no justification whatever for discharging the oil into the Sydney Harbor and that they ought to have known that it was possible to ignite oil, this kind of oil on water and that it was his duty and interest to stop the discharge. So the court ruled that the ship owners were allowed to appeal. And that concludes this case summary for the Wagon Mound case on 4lawnotes.com.